Do you want to build Lego but you don't have the space or money? Let me show you a way to build Lego for free. To start off with, you're going to need a bit of software called Studio or Stud.io, as some people call it. To get this, go to Google and type in Lego Studio. At the top, normally, you'll find a Studio download link. You click that, you can download it by clicking this button here. Alternatively, if you use a Mac or a Windows device, you can choose the most appropriate one for you. As a quick overview for this, so Studio, if you didn't know, is the software that people use to make custom Lego designs, or mocks, as you might know them as. Down here, you'll see these are mocks that people have created using the Studio software. You can choose to import these in if you want, but do be aware that these will be pre-built. But you, of course, you can deconstruct them and rebuild them if you want. Alternatively, it's always nice to look at the design methods that people have used to get these amazing designs. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to import an official Lego set so you can build it digitally. Now, of course, at the end of this, you won't own the Lego set. But if you do enjoy the building process, this is perfect for you. And this is a perfect way to get your Lego fix. So to start off with, you're going to click create new and then you click file and import official Lego set. So this is where you add your set number. So this is the set number that Lego give. This is easy to get. You can go to the Lego website and you can select any of these from here and input the number. As I'm going to choose the deep sea creatures greater three and one set, which is set number 31088. So now if I go back to the studio software and put in 31088, you'll see it will load the set information. So we know we've got the right one. It tells you the parts and when it was produced and so on from there. The next thing to do is click import. Now, because this is a creator three and one, we can choose which set we want to build. When you click one of these, it will take you to the Lego website and you can use the instructions from there. So for example, I'm going to choose to build the shark and the crab so when you click one of these it's going to take you to the lego website and it will show the instructions alternatively you can go to the product page on lego and click building instructions and it will take you to the same location as well i'm going to choose the shark and the crab so as you can see this is lego instructions just like you'd get when you buy the lego set if you scroll down you'll start seeing instructions and of course when you're building these you might want a second screen or maybe using an ipad or even a phone just so you can view the instructions whilst you're building it digitally so as i say i'm going to build the crab i'm going to speed this up so you can get an idea of how it is to build a lego set in studio don't be alarmed if you find it a bit tricky to begin with it is a new way of building lego but trust me when I say after five, 10 minutes, you'll get used to it. And it's just as fun as building a real Lego set. But before I go in, just basic controls, a right click will allow you to spin around. The center mouse click will allow you to move around and the scroll wheel will zoom in and out. Left click if you want to select an item and you can move it like that. If you left click the mouse button and drag, you'll see you can select multiple pieces and move them around as you would like. You'll find these controls are the most common ones that you'll need while doing this and you may want to sort of pivot around zoom in and find the pieces and build just like you would when you're building it physically so here we go i'm going to build the crab Now you get the general idea of how you can build a Lego set digitally in this studio software. Now that's done, you can actually choose to take a render of your build. We'll cover how you do it in a different video, but the button's up here. And basically you can then take a still image or animation 
of your build. This is a smaller set that LEGO have produced, but there are larger sets out there too that you could do this in as well. Now, for example, one of the newer sets that have come out is the Family Reunion Celebration set. This is 80113. If we start a new design there and import official LEGO set, 80113, and you can see it's found it already. Click import. This one may take a little bit longer. It says 1,894 pieces. So I've got to wait for that to import into the model. Now this is one of the reasons I wanted to show you because sometimes, especially with the newer sets, they can't import all of the pieces. You do find this with, it doesn't really make much difference when you're building it, but like the turkey body, for example, or a peach. But you may find there are some pieces sometimes that have not been imported into BrickLink yet, which feeds the studio database. Now this is okay, so you can just choose another piece and by searching it in the left hand side here. Well, when once it's inputted into the database, you can then choose to use it. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have endless hours of fun using Studio to build Lego sets. If you have any questions, please pop it in the comments. I'll do my best to respond. Otherwise, happy building and I'll see you in the next video.